general term of a sequence. So this is the learning target for this video. I can determine the general term of a sequence whose first difference is constant. So I have here some guide questions for you to be guided of the content of this video. First, how do we find the general term of a sequence if the first difference is constant? Second, how do we prepare a table for a sequence? Next, how do we get the first difference? And lastly, how do we determine what general form are we going to use? So these are the steps in finding the general term or n term if the first difference is constant. First, prepare a table with row headings n and a sub n. Second, get the first difference. Third step, solve for the value of a and b. Next, substitute the values of a and b in the general form a n plus b equals a sub n. And lastly, check. So let us have our first example. Find the general term of the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. Now, of course, based on the steps provided a while ago, let's start with prepare a table. So here, let's write the heading first. Let's start with N. Where in the entries here are the positive consecutive integers, which is starting from 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. But at least 5 uh, consecutive integers, it's okay already. Next, let us put the A sub N um, row based on the given sequence. So since our first term, in the sequence is 2 so it should be aligned with n equals 1 and second term which is 5 it should be aligned with n equals 2 and so on now second step is let us get the first difference of the given sequence first you need to rewrite the sequence and then get the difference of two consecutive terms so let's start with 5 minus 2 will have 3. 8 minus 5 will have 3. 11 minus 8 will have 3. And so on. Next step. So we need to form two equations of the form a n plus b equals a sub n. Using the two pairs of numbers taken from the table that we got a while ago. So we have here. So let's take first the first pair. So of course, we're going to take the n equals 1 and a sub n equals 2. So we are supposed to substitute the values of n and a sub n in our general formula. So... That means a n plus b equals a sub n substituted. The values of n and a sub n will have a times 1 plus b equals 2. Simplifying will end up with a plus b equals 2. This is our first equation. Next, for the second pair, that would give us the second equation. So, same process. We will substitute the values of n, which is 2, and a sub n, which is 5, to our general formula. So, we will have a times 2 plus b equals 5. Simplify, we will end up with 2a plus b equals 5. This will be our second equation already. Now, since in our step 3, we were able to get the equation 1 and equation 2 already, now we can now move on with step 4, which is solve for values of A and B by elimination method. 
So here, let's rewrite the system of linear equation. So a plus b equals 2 and 2a plus b equals 5. Let us align like terms there. So as you can see, in our elimination method, we cannot eliminate one of the terms there for now since we cannot see some of the inverse terms there. So we need to look for factors and I get negative 1. So I will be multiplying negative 1 to all the terms in equation 1 so that I'll end up with negative a minus b equals negative 2. So as you can see, we do have now an inverse terms there, which is the term with a variable b. So now, I can now cancel out negative b and positive b because if we're going to combine that, that will become 0. So eliminated already and combining the remaining terms, negative a combined with 2a will have a. Negative 2 combined with 5 will have positive 3. Therefore, we now have a value for variable A. Now, to get the value of variable B, just simply substitute the value of A that we got to any of the equations that we have. It's either equation 1, equation 2, or the third equation that we got when we multiplied negative 1 to equation 1. But, it is better if we're going to use equation 1 because as you can see, the numerical coefficients of equation 1 is somehow lower compared to the other equations. So here, I am going to use equation 1. I'll be substituting the value of A, which is 3. So, I will have 3 plus B equals 2. But, here we are not yet done. We need to apply addition property of equality. But, commonly, we are using this transposition. I'll be transferring positive 3 to the right side. We'll have 2 minus 3. Then, when we will end up with negative 1. Therefore, we do have A equals 3 and b equals negative 1. Now, for step 5, we need to substitute the value of a and value of b to the general formula. And that, our answer is a sub n equals 3n minus 1. We now substituted 3 to a and negative 1 to b. So, our final answer is 3n minus 1. So, to check if this general formula that we got is correct, so, let us just substitute in the equation that we used a while ago, a plus b equals 2. So, substitute the value of a and b. So, 3 plus negative 1 equals 2. So, 2 is equal to 2. Yes, it's correct. And another in equation 2, 2a plus b equals 5. So, substituting 2 times 3 plus negative 1. So, we have 6 plus negative 1 equals 5. So, 6 plus negative 1, it's positive 5 equals positive 5. Yes, it's correct. Therefore, we got correct value of a and b. But, if you want to um, check your general term based on the given sequence, now let's check. So, our first term is 2 in our sequence. So, substituting in the formula, in the general term that we got, 3n minus 1, let's check the first term. So, that means n will be 1. So, substituting 1 in the general term. So, 3 times 1 minus 1 will have 3 minus 1 a sub 1 equals 2. It is correct. Our first term in the sequence is 2. Next, for second term, same. The substituting 2 to all the n's in the equation. So, 3 times 2, 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 
a sub 2 is equal to 5. That is our second term in the sequence. It is also correct. Next, for third term, so we'll change all the ends in the formula by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So a sub 3 is equal to 8 or the third term is 8. It is also correct. Same goes with fourth term and the fifth term. So that means we got correct general term. Okay, next item. So find again the general term of the given sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So of course, first step would be prepare a table. So with n, where in the values will be positive consecutive integers starting from 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, putting all the, the values of a sub n in the sequence. So we have first term is 1, second term is 3, third term is 5, and so on. Then second step is find the difference. The first difference of the sequence by simply subtracting two consecutive terms. So let's start with second term minus first term will have two. Then third term minus second term will have two. Fourth term minus third term will have two and same process. So as you can see, we do have constant first difference. Therefore, we can now proceed with the third step. So for step 3, we need to form two equations of the form a n plus b equals a sub n using two pairs of numbers from the table. But here, I'll be going directly to the first equation and second equation already. So, after taking the, the two pairs from the table and substituting in the general formula, and then we'll end up with this equation. So, equation 1 is a plus b equals 1, and equation 2 is 2a plus b equals 3. Now, since we do have our equation 1 and equation 2 ready, we may now proceed with step 4, which is finding or solving for A and B by elimination method, of course. So, here it is. So, let's find um, factor for us to be able to multiply with one of the equations so that we can do the elimination method. So, here I multiply negative 1 to equation 1. So, I will end up with negative a minus b equals negative 1 combined with 2a plus b equals 3. So negative b and positive b are inverse, so we can now cancel out them. So combining the remaining terms will have a equals 2. And to get the value of b, of course, let us just substitute only the value of a to either of the two equations so equation one or equation two but i'll be using equation one so substituting the value of a so two plus b equals one then applying a p e so i'll end up with b equals negative one okay so step five let us just substitute only the a and b in the general form so we got 2n minus 1 so just to check so we have here for first term so simply substitute what to all the n's in the equation so 2 times 1 minus 1 so we'll have a sub 1 equals 1 it's correct so base on the sequence given then for the second term so same process 
substitute 2 to all the n's in the equation and we do have here a sub 2 equals 3 it's correct it corresponds to the sequence given and for third term same way so we got 5 same with the sequence and for fourth term in fifth term same answer with the given sequence so that means we got correct um, general term as well so it's your turn so find the general term of the sequence 8 13 18 23 28 you may now pause the video for a while and then answer the activity and then resume watching if you wanna check if you got correct answer Okay, so for our answer in this problem, so our equation 1 will be a plus b equals 8. And for our equation 2, we will have 2a plus b plus 13. And then doing the elimination method, so we will be able to get a equals 5 and b equals 3. Therefore, our general term will be a sub n equals 5n plus 3. Okay, so next problem. Identify again the general term of the given sequence. So 4, 9, 14, 19, 24. So this will be the equation 1 that we will be able to come up if you will be able to do properly the preparation on tables and getting the difference so here a plus b equals 4 then for equation 2 we have 2a plus b equals 9 then doing the elimination method we'll end up with a equals 5 b equals negative 1 therefore our general term of the sequence will be a sub n equals 5n minus 1 okay next activity so, find again the general term of the sequence 3, 8, 13, and 18. So, these are the equations that we will be able to come up if you will be able to do the, the preparation of the table properly and as well as checking the common difference. If they do have um, constant first difference, then... Let's proceed with the process. So, elimination method. So, we'll end up with A equals 5 and B equals negative 2. Therefore, our general term will be 5N minus 2. Next, we have... How about this? Find the general term of 7, 13, 19, 25, and so on. So, our answer for that problem, so these are the equations. So, a plus b equals 7, 2a plus b equals 13. And doing the elimination process properly, so you will end up with a equals 6, b equals 1. And the general term, therefore, of the sequence is 6n plus 1. Okay, so some more example or practice exercise. So, how about this? Negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, and negative 11. So, here's our solution. So, equation 1 will be a plus b equals negative 2. And for equation 2, we'll have 2a plus b equals negative 5. And then, doing the elimination process properly... So, A will be equal to negative 3 and B equals 1. Then, therefore, the general term of the sequence given is negative 3N plus 1. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned out of this video so 
So please don't forget to subscribe now so that you will be updated of the upcoming playback videos. Thank you for watching!